haunted Albany. So as you said, we visited Albany. Yeah. We visit a few haunted places around Albany, That's right. New York area. And yeah. it's referred to, as you said, the capital region mm -hmm. because Albany is the capital of New York, not New York City, which a lot of people seem to believe for some reason. I guess because it's just a big city. Yeah. Um, we didn't get to go inside some of these locations, unfortunately, because yeah. they were private locations mm -hmm. um, or they were just closed. So right. one such location that I have made fun of the name constantly because one, I just can't pronounce it right. And two, that's what it looks like. The Coho's. Coho's <laughs> Music Hall. Coho's. Coho's. Anybody it listening looks like in Albany? Coho's. I have told it's a bunch her of Coho's living over there. Billion times that it's pronounced <laughs> Coho's. And the whole time that we were there, she's just going, Coho's, Coho's. Co <laughs> like she couldn't stop. I, I really, why well, can't even see it right now? I can't even say Coho's. Is it yes, Coho's? That's oh, it. Okay, you got it. Coho's. All right. Coho's Music Hall in yeah. Coho's, yes, which is in the capital region, as I said. Yeah. So it was established in 1847, and yep. many performers and acts came through Coho's Music Hall, yep. such as John Philip Sousa, Buffalo oh. Bill Cody, and P.T. Barnum's Baby Elephants, okay. and a Canadian entertainer, Eva Tangway, and I hope I pronounced her name right, Tangway. Okay. So Eva's first performance there while touring was at the age of 12. Okay. She would grow up to be the highest paid vaudeville performer in her day. Uh. So Eva was known to be very playful on stage. So for example, one of her performances, yeah. she wore a dress made out of pennies and she would slowly take the pennies off and toss them to the men in the audience. <laughs> so very seductively, right? Where but in a playful. Yeah. So Eva performed all over the place, not just at this particular music hall. And eventually her fame faded as okay. it does, right? It happens to everybody. Yeah. And she lost all her money in the stock market. Well, crash. she started wearing penny dresses, lady. Yeah. You have more money. So the co-host music hall also <sighs> ran into some financial problems and closed in 1936. Okay. And it stayed closed for 60 years. And while it was closed in 1947, Eva died in Hollywood at the age of 68. Mm. And she loved performing at co-host so much, she decided to return in spirit form, or so they say. So, so they she say. died. It would have been almost another 50 years after she died that the place yeah. would be reopened again. Yep. So I'm just like thinking, like, was she hanging around inside like the whole time, like yeah. just waiting for it to be opened? You know, it's kind of yeah. strange to think about. So there's been a lot of paranormal activity. And actually, if you go to the website, the yeah. Coho's Music Hall website, they have these security cameras set up. Yep. And they have you links to YouTube videos where they have captured some paranormal activity. Now, I think in one of the, I think they have four videos and one of them, they actually debunk and they say they figured out what it was, but the other ones they couldn't explain. So it's kind of interesting if you go there and you want to watch that. Yeah. So she sometimes is seen in the windows of the outside of the building. Okay. And she's seen stage left balcony, second row. And people have reported hearing a woman laughing and giggling and random whiffs of a woman's perfume will come by. Eva also likes to play tricks and hide props. Of so course we took. Remember, we took a bunch of pictures on yeah. the outside and all those windows. Like yeah. I went in and zoomed in on every single see, one. See if you can like, see area, boy. Yeah, I was like, is Eva in freaky. these windows? No, she wasn't in uh, any no. of the windows. So I, as I've said before on this show, like I've worked in radio for a really long time here in the Capital Region, 16 years. And uh, a friend of mine has done broadcast live for Halloween for a number of years. Like he's brought morning shows and things out. And they used to do one at Coho's Music Hall almost every single Halloween. And oh, really? he had a paranormal group with him one year. And he actually got a voice of a woman on an EVP. Oh, now cool. he is as skeptical as skeptical gets. And even he can't deny that there is something on there saying hello to him. And they, they think that it is, they think that it is Eva. Well, I wonder why... Because I was trying to figure out, like, if anyone had an EVP with her saying her name, like, why do they think it's her? Yeah. If she toured everywhere, 
why would she be at that particular? What's her tie to that know. one? Why isn't it know. some other performer? You know, why isn't it just a worker it. that used to be there? Why do they think it's her in particular? Yeah, I think she just liked it. I think she just liked the atmosphere, maybe. They say that's what yeah. they do. That's when spirits return to those places. It's just like they, they're tied to it somehow emotionally. And so. we wanted to go inside. So we it tried. Was, we tried. We tried. It was closed to visitors yeah. for whatever reason at the time we went there. We're like, dang it, because we wanted to at least take some pictures or something in the inside. Yeah. But they were doing something and it was closed. I was like, that's oh. all right. But when we were there, there was an awesome antique slash thrift store there that we went in right across the street awesome things i yeah. bought some things and we just looked at over everything it was really cool and definitely we'd go back there yes yeah. looking for a really cool antique shop had a ton of comic books if you guys so are comic much book stuff to look at it was like, a lot of fun subscribe to unrefined on patreon become a patron and you can see exclusive full podcast videos bonus content and more listen to unrefined on apple Podcasts, spotify spreaker google podcast the iHeartRadio app and wherever you get your podcasts